Get your tissue boxes ready. These are the saddest moments in Baldi's Basics. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kian and prepare to cry. We've spent a lot of time with Baldi and in Baldi's Basics, but these are the absolute saddest moments we've ever experienced in all of Baldi's Basics. So get your tissues ready and stick around until the end because you're going to see my personal pick of the most heart wrenching moments I've had with Baldi himself. Let's do this. Welcome to Baldi. Dice. This is a Baldi's Basics mod by Baldi is a good and uh, it kind of speaks for itself. But Baldi will explain the rules for you very briefly. Don't get a question wrong or I die. Yeah, if we get a question wrong, Baldi ah. dies. And if I know my Baldi's Basics, there are questions that are impossible to answer. So basically, Baldi is going to die today. Because of me. I'm sorry, Baldi. You got a knife in your shoulder. Goodness gracious. Hey. Hey, Baldi. Hey. How you doing? You doing pretty good, dude? So as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, we need to collect seven deadly notebooks. But apparently, Baldi has accidentally attached himself to the YCTP machine. And basically, if we answer a question wrong, he, he's going to have a real bad day. Um, th this poster says it all. Don't get a question wrong or Baldi dies. I'm going to try my best, Baldi, but I think you're going to have kind of a bad day. Let's go into the first classroom. We can answer all these questions correctly. Oh, yeah, you can see the little wires. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, this is terrible, Baldi. How could you do this to yourself? Why? Oh, hi. You see those wires down there? They hooked up the Yukon ThinkPad to where if you get a question wrong, a knife will come down and, well, you know, and they haven't figured out how to disconnect it yet. But don't get a question wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best, Baldi, but uh, if you offer me a question that is impossible to answer, correctly um a knife is gonna come down and you know all right eight plus three is eleven we got that three plus seven ten all day give me that give me those easy math problems all day every day i got you five minus nine negative four wow you exist but baldy you may not for for much longer oh gosh i don't want to be responsible for the death of baldy i mean as much as he's terrified us and terrorized us i, I don't want to kill the guy i mean he's just a very passionate math teacher that's he's misunderstood all right let's go to the next notebook and like i said if if this is you know typical baldy's basics um it's gonna give us a question that is going to be impossible to answer correctly so we know what happens a knife baldy said it himself four minus seven negative three gotcha three plus one four boom Right. What do you expect me to do, Baldy? You're gonna die. You're good. I, I mean, I, I have to answer the question. There is no other alternative. I could close down the game, shut off the video, just walk away. I mean, I could do. You know what? Okay, let's just. Okay. Okay. Fine. Bye. Bye. No, we have to answer the question. We cannot resist the allure of answering questions that might be impossible, but maybe we know the answer. I don't know. I mean, there is a number out there that maybe I haven't tried before, like 12. Let's do it. Uh, oh, no. Ah! Gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, Baldy? Baldi? I don't hear ruler slaps. I hear playtime. But, but Baldi? Ba Baldi? I think Baldi's seriously dead. Baldi! Baldi! Listen, man, I'm... <laughs> oh, gosh. Wait a second. I see some... It's... Wait, wait, wait a second. We gotta go into the detention room. It, it looks like we got some eulogies. Some Baldi eulogies in here. No killing Baldi in the halls. Ooh, my bad. I will avenge Baldi by sweeping you to death, player. Dang, dude. I'm sorry. It's not my fault that I got an impossible question to answer. First prize. It's really sad because he doesn't know that Baldi's dead. Oh, first prize. It's like a, it's like a dog who hasn't realized that his owner 
has passed away. Arts and crafts are sad and mad that you killed Baldi. It was an accident. I was, you guys forced my hands. You're so angry and sad at the same time. Those are two very scary emotions. Playtime. I'm sad because you killed Baldi. Playtime, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Oh man, these guys are really getting to me. Let's see what Bully thinks of things. Here at here school, we believe every good school needs a good Bully. That's why we have this kid. He doesn't care. He just doesn't care. He has nothing to say. He's just gonna keep on bullying. All right, Bully, you do your thing. Also, can't help but notice, Rip Baldi, you will be missed. I mean, I'm gonna try to look at the silver lining here. Yes, we've killed Baldi, and everybody at the school is fairly upset with us and very sad. Oh gosh, he's gonna murder me. Don't murder me. He didn't murder me. I'm glad that, that he didn't kill me. Okay, we've survived, got a sweep. He, he spared us. I guess he, he realized that, you know, he was really letting his emotions take over and that it wasn't necessarily our fault that Baldi is dead. Yes, we had a huge hand in it. Why is there a Baldi, a little tiny Baldi? What is this? Baldi plush in remembrance of Baldi. May we keep this plush for all times. Cuddle it, nestle it and never forget that beautiful bald math teacher. But as I mentioned, there is a silver lining. Uh, beating the game is gonna be real easy because Baldi's the only one who could stop us. And now we have nothing to threaten our livelihood as, as good math students. Yay. If you killed Baldi, don't enter. Well, I didn't kill Baldi, so I'm going in. Wasn't my fault. I'm still, I'm still sticking to that story. Was not my fault. Look, I can go in. The, the game's not stopping me. No one's stopping me. I do what I want. Ha! Take that game. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. All right. Apparently, everybody else disagrees with my conclusion that I was the one who did not kill Baldi. They they still all agree that I was the one who killed Baldi, and I'm sorry. But at least I got a Baldi plush toy. Oh, Playtime's already sad. Look at her. Look at her. What was that? It was a very sad Playtime. She was very sad. I don't even know what she said there, but she sounds sad. Hello, principal. Please don't be mad at me. Can we still be friends? I don't think we can still be friends, but can we still like cooperate? Just be be acquaintances without you wanting to kill me? What? Okay, got a sweep. Was getting a little aggressive there, but we survived it yet again. Go ahead and grab another notebook. Four minus four is zero. It's easy. Five plus six is 11 and then 12. Still not the right answer. Let's, can we give, oh, we could totally give Playtime the plush. See, see, we're not such bad people. We hooked, you know, Playtime up with, with a plush so she can remember her dear math teacher, Baldi. See, I'm not a monster. I have a heart. What are these? Oh, these are the big old boots. These were just added in an update and I don't actually know what they do. I'm gonna try to use them. One minus six is negative five. Five plus six is 11. And the answer to the impossible question is yet again, 12. I'm confident that one of these days, one of these days is just gonna be like, all right, you know what? You've put in 12 enough times, you win. You've survived, you did it. Congratulations. And that's the end of all Baldi forever. Oh, oh, there's flowers on the tables. Is that, what is that? You sad music it's so sad oh, look at the look at the roof rip baldy it almost feels like someone was preparing for this moment have i been framed for the murder of baldy and someone was just wanting to throw a big event for the death of baldy i mean look at all this stuff how, how did they put this all up so quickly there were some pre-arrangements here this is all planned. I'm telling you, I'm being framed. It wasn't me, it was the one-armed man. It's messed up, people. It's messed up. What do I do with these big old boots? Maybe I can like smush principal with them. Let's do it. Smash! <gasps> what? What did that, what did that do? He's still here. I did not squish him with big old boots. Okay, you guys are gonna have to let me know what the big old boots do, cause I don't know what they do. Whoa, big old boots are back. I don't know, <laughs> they came back. It's very strange. All right, we only have to grab two more notebooks. We're home free. Gotta no, gotta sweep. Where is he? He's coming for me. I'm scared. Also very scared of Bully. Let's just, let's, 
let's get this last notebook. Oh, it's a tombstone in here too, but no sad music. So they didn't really double down on the super sadness in this room. Cafeteria is the true room of super sadness. Four plus eight is 12. Four plus nine is 13. Are we gonna get any kind of message here? I mean, probably not, because it's Baldi who gives us the message. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but he he's dead. Yeah, no message, but I do have a plushie for playtime if she wants one, a second one. Okay, let's get all the exits. I, I, I don't know, like, oh, I can give, I can give first prize a plushie. He wants a plushie too. I know he doesn't realize that Baldi's gone, but let's, let's give him the plushie. There you go, buddy. He's, look, he's so happy he is spinning out of control. That's how happy we've made first prize. He's dancing in delight. Look at him go. Round and round the robot goes. Oh no, he's coming for me. Oh, oh gosh. The noise has begun. I was always under the impression that Baldi was the one making this noise. No, I don't actually believe that, but clearly he's not the one making this noise. Get me a basoda on the go. Thank you. Hello, principal. There is zero threat. Feels kind of nice. Don't have to worry. I just take my time. Go to the room of super sadness. Is the super sad music still playing though? It's very hard to tell. I think it is playing. I think I can hear just, just the whispers of a very sad song over the very obnoxious noise of like a race car engine directly into my brain. Okay, let's just, let's get that last one. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. We're done. Congratulations. We've won. Baldi, you're back. See, see, it was all ruse. It was all, it's all ruse. Crash the game. That was my reward. So we've done it. We've killed Baldi. I don't, I don't feel like I should be proud, but I did win at the cost of killing Baldi. I'm sorry, Baldi. I don't like how he's looking at me straight in the eyes. He's just direct eye contact with that knife in his chest. It's... Anyways. Welcome back to Baldi's basics, except something really bad has happened to Baldi. I'm not sure how or why, but Baldi is in a coma and he does not look so good. When you initially start up the game, you're greeted with this right here. Prepare yourselves. Someone's at the door. <laughs> what? What just happened? I have no idea. But this is a mod by Michael Does Gaming. We've played their mods before. So let's investigate. Figure out what happened to Baldi. Let's go into the menu first. How to play. Welcome back to here school. As usual, collect the seven notebooks. There's nothing usual about this. Baldi is laying face first on the floor, presumably bleeding from his head. This is not usual. Why, why do you just want me to do what I usually do? That's, I feel like we need to help Baldi. Call a doctor, dial 911. Don't just go collecting notebooks either way. Um, let's start, I guess. Baldi looks okay here, so that's good to see. Story mode. Oh, Baldi. Hi. Are you okay? You seem okay. I mean, you're still you. You're still baldy, but you're not knocked out on the ground. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, is anybody at the door? I'm a little freaked out. Let's, I guess, grab the first notebook. Is the title screen the only thing that's different in this mod? Wait, no, right off the bat, actually, I'm looking at this classroom. There are normally not windows here, which is kind of interesting i mean it's different that's the only difference i see so far let's just answer some math you know a as you do you gonna give me a quarter baldy quarter quarter give me a quarter he's gonna give me a quarter okay i thank you i'm glad to see that you're you're totally fine look there's another window right there Th this is kind of freaking me out here's the true test though Th things always change after you answer the second notebook. Also, I almost answered that problem incorrectly. All right, here we go. Th are you gonna do the same thing you normally do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the, that's the noise that we all truly dearly love. Okay, let's just, I get. Oh, it sounds like my package is here. All right. Oh. What? When UPS guys attack? Is that the story of Baldi's coma? <laughs> oh my gosh. It makes sense now, sort of. I'm still not sure, oh my gosh. I'm still not sure why the delivery guy would do that to Baldi. Kind of messed up, 
It's actually super messed up. Also, what is in that package? Must be an extremely heavy package and a very strong delivery guy. Baldi, are you okay? Oh gosh! Well, there's the window that the delivery guy threw the package through. I appreciate that the break in the window is way smaller than the package itself. <laughs> The tree got knocked over, the baldy got knocked over, and the box is fine, I guess. Principal, are you gonna do something about this? You're just gonna walk over baldy's knocked out body? Hello? I need an adult. Why, why isn't anybody helping baldy? What is wrong with the people at this school? Wait, I'm here at the school and I'm not really doing anything. All right, let's go collect some notebooks. See you around, Baldy. If I had a phone, I would call 911, but I don't. I am a helpless child. Principal is the adult here. Principal, you're more than eager to give students detention. Why don't you help out your co-worker, Baldy, by getting him some medical attention? What is wrong with this school? I'm just gonna collect the notebooks. I hear playtime. She... She sounds like she's in a different dimension or something. I don't know what's going on with playtime. I kind of want to see her. She sounds so different. I hear every door you open. Um, I suspect if that message is coming from Baldi, no, he doesn't. He doesn't hear every door that I open. And if he does hear every door that I open, I, I don't think there's anything that he can do about it. I will say um, the game's a lot easier. When, when Baldi's not chasing you, so there is that. We're, we're guaranteed a win, I think. I don't know if the other characters can end your game. Sometimes the mods do that, where like Baldi isn't around, but if you get caught by like playtime, you're dead. Or you get caught by gotta sweep. Oh gosh, that's a tough one. You know what, Bully? Give me something Take whatever you want, man. We're, for the generous you're welcome. Don't run with those scissors, but I hope that you enjoy them. Do you think Gotta Sweep will push Baldi's body if he runs over him? I kinda, I gotta know. He's been running the hallways. Gotta Sweep's, oh, playtime. What? You're, you're so sad. Are you sad because of what happened to Baldi? Is that what's going on here? Or are you just, Are you just having a bad day? I feel like if the people around me are upset by what has happened to Baldi, why aren't they doing something about it? I guess Playtime's kind of in the same situation that I'm in though, a helpless child. We need an adult and we don't have one, apparently. Principal is a fraud. Let's go see if Baldi is still in the same spot. I think I see him through the crack of the door. Oh yeah, he's, he's still definitely there. What about his box? I just stepped on Baldi, sorry about that. I just wanted to know if I could push the box around. That's all, I, it was for science, Baldi, I'm sorry. I feel like this dude really needs medical attention, like ASAP, he's just been laying there for, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. Maybe I'm the hero. Maybe once I collect all the notebooks, somebody will dial 911? I don't know! I just feel like this school is not prepared for this kind of crisis. They have clearly been under-trained to handle a situation of this magnitude. I mean, I don't think it's that complicated. Someone gets hurt, you get help for them. Apparently not. Not at here school. Forcing me to continue doing math problems while Baldi is just passed out on the floor with a pretty severe head wound. I just feel like the school's got his priorities all mixed up. We are about to grab our last notebook. I think it's this one. Are you the one? You're the one. But before we do that, I actually, I, I want to cut Playtime's jump rope because she's already sad. Can we make her extra sad? I don't like her voice though. <laughs> it's very, very strange. She has a deeper voice than I do. Playtime? Where you at, girl? Will you give me detention if I run? No running in the hall. You will. 15 seconds. Okay. When will you learn? Hey, when will you learn to call 911 for your buddy Baldi? I'm starting to suspect that maybe Principal is the culprit in all of this. He doesn't like Baldi, so he threw a very heavy package at his head. Extremely sus. All right, playtime. Oh, that's... 
Yeah, that's an extra sad playtime. She's definitely more sad than normal. And for some reason, that makes me happy. I'm, I'm truly a monster. All right, well, let's grab the last notebook. Principal continues to suspiciously act like nothing is wrong. I'm on to you, Principal. He's the imposter. All right, the final notebook. What is going to happen after this? Hopefully, some medical attention will be brought to Baldi. Attention, students. Get Baldi to the hospital right now. Based on that announcement, the authorities at this school expect the students to to save Baldi. Okay, gotta sweep, please stop. The announcement was quite literally students get Baldi to the hospital right now. Students, you're putting it on the students to help Baldi when there's a perfectly capable adult just stupidly wandering the halls. Giving kids detention. I'm running through the halls trying to save Baldi's life. And this dude is like, no running in the halls. Principal, what did you do to Baldi? Is this an attempted murder case? I feel like it is. What do I do here? Do I go to Baldi? Baldi? Wait, what? Get out of here. Get out of your playtime. You're supposed to, you're one of the students. You're supposed to be helping me. Apparently, it's my responsibility. Who would have known? What? Oh. What? Hello? I'm at... I'm at the hospital. Oh my gosh. Oh no. This is a sad bully. Oh, look at principal. Yeah. Oh, sure. Sure you're sad. Now you act sad. After I bring Baldi to the hospital, everybody is around Baldi. I, I hate Doctor, that doctor. Is Mr. Baldi going to be okay? Yes, he will be fine. So basically someone threw a package at his head. Now your friend Baldi is in a coma. Is Baldi going to oof? No, he will not oof. He will not is oof. there a way to bring him out of the coma? Well, you need to bring something that he really wanted. You need to go inside Baldi's head to get the one thing that he wants. He will be dreaming though. Comfortable enough. Come on, guys, let's go get Baldi out of this coma. That was the most story I've ever experienced in Baldi's Basics. I hate the way the doctor's looking at me. He's so smug. That's my friend laying in the bed. Kind of my friend. I mean, he does try to obliterate me with a ruler from time to time, but we've grown very attached, okay? It's a love-hate relationship. Just back off. Stop looking at me like that, okay, doc? I don't like it. I mean, I think you guys got the, the gist of the story here. Obviously, Baldi had a package thrown at his head. Why? I, I have no idea, but it placed him in a coma. So he's basically asleep. Smug doctor over here, though, using his doctory brain and very expensive training, has told us that we need to get something very special for Baldi or something, like one special item. But in order to do that, we have to go inside of his head, inside of his dream state. We're basically inceptioning. I, I don't really know how that all works. I love that first prize joined the conversation. I think he was the one who asked the doctor, like, how do we wake up Baldi from his coma? And then, of course, the doctor explains it and Playtime's like, that sounds simple enough. Although I kind of hated her voice. It's weird. And then you, principal. Oh, look at you acting like you're so sad. I'm on to you, man. I'm on to you. I saw the way you were walking around the hallways when Baldi was just laying on the floor. You did nothing. Expecting the students to save his life. You know why? Because you did it. That was like my ace attorney sort of like, like, you, you know, you get it. Anyways, is that the end? Or do I actually like go into Baldi's brain now? Can I? I don't think I'm going into Baldi's brain. I'm pretty sure this is the end of this part. You stinky doctor. I don't like the way you're looking at me, man. That clipboard. What are you writing in that clipboard? Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be jumping around some different mods of Baldi's basics. Essentially with the goal to make Playtime cry a whole lot. What can I say? I'm a monster. But basically what I want to see is all the different versions of playtime that people have created. And of course, when you use the scissors to cut her jump rope, 
she gets pretty sad. So I want to see what people have done with these different mods. And we're starting out with Baldi's cooking class. And as you can see, Baldi brought us a turkey, which I could seriously go for right now. Turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing. Yes, please. But we're not here for the turkeys. We're, we're here for the tears. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Playtime, a.k.a. Susie. If you guys are longtime viewers, you probably know that I called Playtime uh, Susie for a long time. What the heck is this? Do I have to actually type an answer? I mean, I would think Thanksgiving, right? Okay, who made this mod? Oh, no, I didn't actually look. A few moments later. I got it. I got it. Stats, four, five. Is that... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, he held a turkey at the beginning. Okay, apparently that was wrong, too. Gosh, maybe it was a chicken. I don't know. I've upset Baldi, and I feel bad. But, I mean, those were some tough questions. What did I hold at the beginning? Turkey. What? Seriously? Chicken? <laughs> wasn't chicken. I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't answer your questions. I do have to say this is pretty cool that this mod has questions that aren't just math problems, but also how am I supposed to get to playtime if I can't answer them correctly? What is the most popular pizza topping? Pepperoni? Pepperoni? I don't know how to spell pepperoni. I, I spelt it right. What did I hold at the beginning? We've gotten this one and I can't get it right, but I'm going to try turkey. <laughs> is Lunchables unhealthy for you? Yes. Yes, Lunchables have a lot of preservatives and not a lot of nutritional value. Oh my gosh, what is happening? I hate this. Stats45 made this mod, but uh, it's not working. Okay, the, I can't answer these questions correctly. I just need to get to playtime. I just need scissors and a playtime, and then I'm out of here. Oh my gosh, he has a chicken or a turkey. I don't know. He's angry and he knows how to use it. Please leave me alone, Baldy, please. Oh, there she is. No, you're too fast. I love that you're holding a pizza though. And you got a little bit of a pudding stain on your, on your apron, but that's what aprons are for. That's what they're for. Okay, you know what? Grab the scissors, get, get back. Where, where is she? Come back, playtime, playtime. No, not first prize. There you are. Okay, all right, let's do this. We're gonna make her sad. Get out of here, principal. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. I mean, I took your pizza away. That would make me pretty sad too. <laughs> this mod is pretty cool. It's just kind of janky because sometimes you try to answer the question correctly and it doesn't accept your answer. I don't know what Baldi is holding if he's not holding a chicken or a turkey. Maybe he's holding a duck. I, I really don't know. But either way, this was cool. We got more mods to check out and more playtimes to make cry. Real quick, while we wait for the next mod to load up, I want to remind you guys that you can still pick up the Kindly Key and Game Start hoodie, the one I'm wearing right now. This is the front, and then this is the back. It's got that super cool graphic on the back. And then, of course, the LED hover light is still available. It changes colors. Look at that. I mean, you can set it to, like, automatically change, or you can just change it yourself. It looks really cool at night, but because I record during the day, you guys can't see it at night, so you're just gonna have to get one, and then you can see it at night. Check them out. Link's in the description down down below. Welcome to Baby Baldi's Basics and Adventures with Friends. I believe that this is a mod that we have played before, but I really, really wanted to see Baby Playtime. And also hearing Baby Baldi. I mean, he's pretty cute. Playtime's already a bit of a crybaby, but what if she was an actual baby? Then, then she'd cry even more. This should be a little bit easier than the previous mod, since I can actually math a little bit better then I can answer food-related questions. I can spell pepperoni, though, so <laughs> at least I got that going for me. All right, playtime. Susie, where you at? Oh, that was, that was a baby principal. <laughs> he just ran by. Oh, that was a little unnerving. Actually, if I look in here, the, the principal is just, he's just a child. Just a child running around these hallways. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh, I hear her. She sounds like she normally does. She's not, she's not, she doesn't have a baby voice. Oh, look at little baby arts and crafters. I remember before Seth was born, it was one of the first times I'd ever seen socks for like a newborn baby. 
They're so tiny. They are unbelievably tiny. Oh my gosh, you're you're too cute. I'm gonna make you cry. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, you're yeah, I'm I'm a bad person. Making babies cry. I feel kind of bad, but also not really. Let's get some lemonade. That's, I mean, we're here, so get out of here. Playtime, shooting babies with lemonade and cutting their jump ropes, making them cry. There's no hope for me. There's truly no hope for me. But I mean, look at the little baby sock, though. That is just, that's adorable. Hello, baby Baldy. Bring it on. You don't scare me. I, okay, I lied a little bit. You actually... You actually do scare me, but you're cute at least. Next mod, prepare yourselves. Need I say anything else? Also, Lego! Look at my mouse cursor. It's Nyan Cat, and it's pretty great, actually. Okay, this mod kind of scares me. Let's see, oh my gosh. <laughs> the music is broken house. It's great. Uh, thank you for inviting me to your broken house. You look very cool, Baldy. Extremely cool. I cannot wait to see what playtime is like. Let's get our first notebook so that we can meet Hello. playtime. Oh, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. This ThinkPad doesn't work very well. Okay. I got it off on eBay. That's what you get. But it's anyways, used. Yes. Just use it. Okay. Just use. What, it, what am I even looking at? What? There's some guy's face. Yes, the purple buttons. Thank you, Baldy. Okay. All right. All right. Just answer the math problem. He's still talking. No, math is very important. All right. <laughs> his voice flips over to his normal voice. Okay. I love it. Yes. Answering, answering math problems. It's awesome. Hey. That's not very nice. He just said, I'm very bad. All right, give me the quarter. I don't even know what Baldi is saying right now. He's still talking. I don't care. We have one mission, and that is to make Playtime cry. Looks like it's cringing. Looks like it's cringing time. <laughs> you posted cringe, bro. Oh my gosh, I hate this so much. <laughs> Let's just go straight for the scissors and hope that Baldi doesn't find us. Do you, do you hear? Oh, gotta go fast, fast, fast. Do you hear Baldi? Oh, I hear playtime and she is going fast. Okay, you guys are not gonna hear the music that playtime is playing because that's a DMCA takedown waiting to happen, but it's the music from Initial D. You guys, you guys know it. It's the fast music. I hear it and I hate slash love it. No, I will not marry you. Leave me alone. I'm sorry. Ah! He came out of nowhere. Okay, let's do it again. All right, we're giving this another try. You guys know the drill. We need to get the scissors and then we need to find playtime. Oh, there she is. Okay. Uh, okay, she's stuck in there right now. So I'm just gonna run for the scissors. Oh, she's gonna catch up to me. Playtime! Okay, yeah, so like I said, you guys aren't hearing the, the sweet music that's playing, but it is extremely loud. Let me out. Let me out. Leave me alone. Oh my gosh. Okay, playtime. Come back. I have something for you. I hear playtime. She's getting closer. There she is. All right, you're gonna cry. She's turned blue. She's no longer colorful rainbow happy playtime she's just blue so sad so sad get me out of this mod before my head explodes we're out it's a me mario baldy baldy mario i do believe that we played this mod before but i feel like it's been updated since we played it so it's probably going to be different and i mean i'm really hoping that playtime is princess peach let's find out also, what the heck is gold mode? I kind of want to know what that is. 2012. Okay, this is pretty sweet. You get the beetle suit, the beetle power up. I like it. Yeah, get, let's answer some math problems. Get a beetle power. Hey, hey Mario, it's, it's nice to see you. Have you lost weight? You look a little taller than you used to be, but you're looking great. 
See you around, Mario. What is this power-up? I don't even know what this is. A gray mushroom? I'm just a poser. I, I don't like Mario at all, apparently. I don't even know what that power-up is. All right, let's just let's make Mario mad, and let's go find Playtime, who I hope is Peach. I really hope. Okay, principal is Luigi. <laughs> I like that. I do have to say, I like that a lot. So let's just grab the scissors and wait to be introduced to good old Playtime. Why does Playtime never show up when I want her to show up? Oh my gosh. The <laughs> Arts and Crafters was a piranha plant. <laughs> also, there's my boy, Brandon. What's up, dude? No! Toad is, is first prize. <laughs> oh my god. What did you do to Toad? You turned him into a robot. No, don't get me. He got me. He got me. You got me, Toad. Oh, bully is Bowser. Oh, gosh, I'm going to get pushed into him. And he's going to take my scissors. Of course he takes my scissors. I'm so mad. Oh, we've got to get out of here. Okay, I got to go in here. And then I got to wait for first prize. I've got to get to this classroom. So I can get the scissors out of it. Okay, we made it. There's an ice flower in here. I don't care. I'm only here for the scissors and the tears, of course. All right, Toad, come on back. Push me down the hallway, dude. Here he comes. Here he comes. Gosh, that face. Oh, having Toad's face just like taking up the whole screen. It's ridiculous. Oh, oh, I hear noises. Oh, there's a Koopa Troopa. Oh! Oh, that's gotta be Gotta Sweep. Okay, so Gotta Sweep is a Koopa Troopa. That's pretty good, I like that. Still no playtime though. Where is playtime? Seriously. Oh, I think I see her. It's Yoshi! It's totally Yoshi. There she is. Okay. I... <laughs> ow, 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 ow. All right, hey Mario. Yeah, he's gonna use that hammer. So I do remember playing this mod, but I'm glad that we got to see Yoshi playtime again. Before we jump to another mod, I do want to try this gold mode thing. See if it works. So I just put in 2012? Gold mode on. What? It, gold, <laughs> what? Is everything going to be gold? Yeah, everything is gold. There you go. Now we know. All right, we got one more mod to check out, and it features none other than Mr. Bean. Welcome to Mr. Bean's Basics. Custom map, heart school edition. The heart school edition has the edition your custom map. Has are a you custom okay? map for are you okay? new featured of the Polar Night for Breathe, next man. mod. Okay, that was quite the introduction. I don't know a whole lot about Mr. Bean, so I have no idea who Playtime is going to be, but we're about to find out. Whoa, okay, this this mod is, is elaborate, I would say. It's got a loading screen, what? What? It's got the elevator? This is like oh, based on the Welcome the full version. Schoolhouse. Oh, hi. Hey, let's play Mr. hide and seek. Yeah, let's play hide and seek with Mr. B. This is crazy. Okay, so you got the cool map thing going on. I don't even know where all the classrooms are. Mrs. Wicket. That's a faculty room. That is not where I get my notebooks. Is this a classroom? This looks like a classroom. Yes. Yes, maybe we're collecting teddy bears. Okay. Now it's time. Yep, we're collecting teddy bears. Okay. And there's multiplication too. Okay. All right. Take that, Mr. Bean. I'm I'm good at math. Ready or not, here I come. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, the face. Did you guys see that face when I opened the door? Look, upper left hand corner. Oh my goodness. That's great. That's great. Is playtime even in this mod? I don't know. I I don't know where the scissors would be. Oh yeah, she's here. Okay, so playtime is definitely here. We just, we have to find scissors. Scissors, let's go. Yes. Let's play. Hi, who are you? Ready, go. I, Oops, you I, have, messed up. I have no idea who this is, but Oops, I'm gonna make her cry. Why would he my job? Oh, did she say, why would he take my job away? Is that what you said? Also, hello, sir. Can can you not be here? Can you just go away? Thank you. Okay. This is an insane mod. I don't know why Playtime is a, is a middle-aged woman now, but she is, and I'm, here we are. And then who is this girl? She's in 
She, she like brings you mail or something? I don't know. I, I have no idea what's happening. Just please. Okay. I, yeah, that was, that was a game. Welcome back to Baldi's Basics, but Principal's Basics swapped in education and learning swap time. Full title. This is a mod by the Mojang 24. Six, eight. I didn't want to mess up those numbers. You gotta give credit where credit is due, and that is precisely what Mojang2468 has done. He has turned Baldi into principal. We've played around with swapped mods like this before. They always get a, a good laugh out of me because there's some weird stuff going on. You might notice my mouse pointer. It's the face of the placeholder guy. Who needs hands when you have face pointers? That's pretty sweet. Of course, this is only the beginning of what's gonna be swapped around. Let's go into the menu. Let's just, okay. It doesn't look like anything is weird here. Options, totally normal. Credits, credits, credits. There's your credits. Fascinating. Which begs the question, if we put in that special code that takes you to the placeholder room, will we get credits? Ah. See, you gotta think like a swapper. We'll see, we'll mess around with that later. In the meantime, let's jump into the game, see what's going on. I, uh, it's really upsetting seeing Principal's face up here, and then this is very, oh gosh! He's got red laser eyes. He's so angry in endless mode. Why is endless mode Principal so much angrier than story mode Principal? The world will never know. Let's just start with story mode. Whoa! Did you? Oh, gosh. Okay. Hello, Principal. I, I wish that you sounded like Principal and not like Baldi, but beggars can't be choosers, and we will accept this. But did you see the wavy loading screen? That was cool. Oh, they didn't change this. I guess that would be kind of hard to do, because these are technically like 3D renderings of Baldi's head. But it would have been pretty sweet if this was Principal's head nodding up and down. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, the doors are different. These are normally yellow doors. The yellow doors are over there. Okay, this is gonna mess with my brain a little bit. Principal, you've already swapped things up. You wanna really differentiate your school from Baldi's school, and you've done a great job of doing that. Okay, for a second, I thought that the floors were wood, and the desks were like this weird sand texture that's on the floor. That would be pretty funny, actually. <laughs> but that's not the case. Let's get our first notebook here. Oh, you can think pad principal edition. I like this. Okay. Yes, I know. I know the whole deal. Zero plus nine. It's one. It's zero. All right. Principal's math so far is much easier than Baldi's math. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Maybe Principal is actually a much more reasonable kind of guy, you know? He's he he's more understanding of our limitations. Maybe he won't give us an impossible question to answer and then get really mad at us if we can't answer that question properly. Maybe, just saying, that would be nice. Okay, one plus eight is nine, and five minus five. Man, your math is so easy, but not quite easy enough, Principal. You gotta work with me here. You're making the same mistakes that your predecessor Baldi has made. You are presenting impossible questions to your students. They are impossible to answer properly and then you're gonna get mad at me. You're just following in the footsteps of Baldi. We can't stand up for this anymore. We need change, principal. Change. But you're not giving that to us, so I will not change and continue to try to answer this question with 12, the most powerful of all numbers. Oh dear, oh dear, he just errored. You know when a, when a principal errors, it's bad news. I hear slaps. Did principal get a ruler? Does he have a ruler? <gasps> yeah, uh, does he have a ruler? He doesn't have a ruler, but he's still making a slapping sound. Makes zero sense, but I'm okay with that. Okay, there is one notable situation that kind of makes things a little bit trickier with the doors. The 99 doors, the doors that are typically on the classrooms, don't have windows. Whereas the yellow doors, they have windows, so you could see through them without having to open them. Oh! What is, what? Okay, so, oh, this is very confusing. The Baldi is principal, okay. We've, we've clarified that. Playtime is bully. Bully just wants 
to play with somebody. I kind of feel bad for him now. I've been so mean to Bully, but you know, on the flip side, Bully's been so mean to me. Maybe he's turned a new leaf. He just, he just wants to jump rope with people. Where is he? I kind of wanted to see him again. I want to see what happens when you, when you cut the, the rope. If you upset, uh, uh, Bully playtime. What's bully playtime? We need to think of a name for bully playtime. I mean, we, we've named playtime Susie, right? We haven't given bully a name because he doesn't deserve a name, frankly. So we could call bully playtime or bully Susie bluesy? Bluesy. Let's go with bluesy. It's bluesy. Everybody's favorite bully jump roper. That's a terrible name. I like it. All right, bluesy. Where are you at? Where are you at, bluesy? Whoa, what is going on here? This, wait, what? This is a playtime. Oh, Susie, you've been eating Twinkies. A lot of Twinkies. You've, you've grown. You are a lot larger than the last time I saw you. Also, Principal is chasing me, which I kind of hate. Okay, that is very confusing. Also, I believe that the soda, yeah, okay. Soda and candy bars have swapped places. So, <laughs> more confusion to add to the pile. Okay, got to sweep as first prize. We've we've seen you. We've accepted that. I kind of want to go see sweeping first prize, right? Cuz they would have swapped places. Let's go say hello to got a first prize, first prize, first prize. Baldy's office, you guys see this? <laughs> I just noticed that. That's like the faculty room. Faculty rooms are now all Baldy's office. Oh, oh, got a first prize, first prize. There he is. He's doing his thing. He's first prizing. He's just first prize. I thought uh, maybe sweep, he would be, sweep, sweep. he would be shaped like a broom. He's not. Sweep. Stop doing that. It's upsetting. Okay, got a first prize, first prize, first prize. It's really hard to say, actually. Hello, Principal Baldy. I hope you're enjoying your promotion. I assume going from a teacher to a principal is a promotion. So congratulations to you, Baldy, and uncongratulations to Principal, who got demoted, and is applying all the same tactics that he learned from Baldy. Maybe that's why Baldy got promoted, because, you know, the faculty was really impressed with Baldy's methods of vaporizing children with rulers because they can't answer questions properly and so principal's giving it a shot now too because he wants to get his position back see there's deep story lore to the, the swapped basics that are happening before our eyes we could write an entire book about it all right fifth notebook give it to me let's do it principal's math questions continue to be easier than baldy's however still offering that impossible question at the end which is very rude also, Bluesy, where'd you go? Where where are you? Bluesy, I want to cut your, your rope. I heard him. I heard him laughing, but I don't hear him anymore. And there's playtime. Big old bully playtime. That's what happened when playtime stopped jump roping. Wasn't getting enough exercise. Hello, Principal Baldy. This will be our sixth notebook, which is kind of crazy because I haven't really been trying to get the notebooks. I mean, I've been grabbing them along the way, but like I've just kind of been been going with the flow. <gasps> oh, he's so mad. Look at his eyebrows. They're such angry eyebrows. We shot him away, though. We have a chance. To, to get out of here. What? F file name two? Who was that? Wait a second. I am, I am now very confused. Also, go away. Oh, I made Bully so sad. I made Bully so sad. <laughs> that was great. Oh, sad Bully. I am going to die here because first prize sweeping time is going to push principal into me, yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't get away. Oh, this is bad. Looks like it's sweeping. No, no, no. Time. Wait. No, this is so bad. Sweep, sweep, sweep. You pushed principal into me. Wait. Wait. Hold him there. Just, just hold him there. They're stuck. They're stuck in there. I have no idea how or why that worked, but it did. Okay. I'm okay with that. Is this the last notebook that I need right here? Have I gone into this room? I've gone in. No, I haven't. It's the last notebook. Holy moly. All seven notebooks on our first run. Not too shabby. Also, principal just gave us the same math question two times in a row. So easy until we get to this. And then it really ramps up real fast. Math problems really ramp up in difficulty. Not cool. All right. We've done it. Yes. Yes, I have. Get out while you still can. 
Yes, I'm aware of this. I'm aware of the rules of your school house. Okay, uh, let's let's do the best that we can. I'm not expecting great results here, because uh, principal's gonna start moving pretty fast. There's one exit. Oh, principal's behind us. Okay, that's super cool. Bully's right there. Nice, good positioning. Very happy about that. I won't be able to get past Bully. Shoot, okay, you know what? I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna go this way. Going this way. Okay, file name two is uh, Sock Puppet. He's uh, he's uh, Arts and Crafters, which is kind of creepy. But no! I ruined it, Baldy got me detention! Oh, I was doing so good too. There was a chance. If he hadn't caught me running, there could have been hope for the future, but it's over now. It's over! Oh gosh, I didn't realize you were right there. Hello, Principal Baldy, Prin Principal. Principal man, principal teacher, I don't know. I gotta say, that was a pretty good run. I was still very confused, but we managed to get all seven notebooks and two of the exits. Not too shabby, I'll take it. But before we end this, we did wanna try the secret code to see if the swapped area is now the credits. Cause remember, if I go into credits, it's the placeholder image. So let's see what happens. And we'll do it in endless mode just so that we can experience what life is like when your principal has laser eyes. Where are your laser eyes? You're not so scary after all. Okay, so the code is 31718. And in case you guys are wondering where that number comes from, that's the release date. That's the original release date of Baldi's Basics. March 17th, 2018. Can you believe that? It's been almost a year and a half since the game came out. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, let's do this. Hey, it is. It's the credits and fingers. Oh, that makes sense because remember the mouse pointer was the face of placeholder. So the finger is now placeholder itself. And we're in a room covered with credits, <laughs> which is super weird and awesome. So there you have it, guys. Principles swapped basics. This was a fun mod. I like these swapped mods. It's always fun to see like which character is who and what do they look like now? Playtime and bully swapping places was terrifying, actually. Big old bully playtime is scary. Don't mess with that girl. But Bluesy, bully Susie, he's, he's adorable. And he just wants to play with somebody. He just wants to jump rope. That's all he wants. He's a simple boy with simple needs. Just jump rope with him. Welcome to... Welcome to Bali's Basics in Education and Learning. That's me. Yeah, this is Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning. Slow and very sad edition. Like, Baldi looks so, so sad. It's making me feel kind of down. I think all the characters in this mod are very sad and very slow. This mod is by Adrian Permana43, also has a YouTube channel, The Wizard Royale, or Royal. It's Royal, it's not Royale. It's Royale if you have the little E at the end. Never mind. let's just, let's play. Start, story mode, go. <laughs> you okay there, Baldy? You just, seems like you're not doing too good today. This is so sad. It's so sad. And so slow. It's very strange. And the music is slow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, this is a weird mod and I kind of love it. Let's uh let's open the door. The doors open in regular speed. Incredible. Welcome to the future of door opening technology. Keep in mind, this mod was made in the previous version of Baldi's Basics. In case you don't know, Baldi's Basics 1.4 is out. This is, I, I can't talk. I just answer the three questions correctly, then you might get something special. I just, just type the correct answer into the empty box. I don't like it. Press the enter key on your keyboard when you think can you have the right answer. Okay, can you speed this up here, Baldy? Oh my gosh. This is so disturbing. Okay, 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 yes. Twelve. Thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're incredible. Okay. Oh, I just, this is so weird. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that there is now a Baldi's Basics version 1.4, which kind of just, the updates are very, very minor. Also, they are not happy. The girl makes tears. The janitor is scared. Please give me... I am your father? What? What is even happening? You're still talking? He's still talking. He's still talking really, really slow. It makes me want to talk like that. It makes me want to talk in slow motion. And I won't because you would die be really annoyed. So this mod is not based on the new version of Baldi's Basics version 1.4. So some of the, you know, interface changes aren't quite there. Um, I think like uh, Miss Man updated like the collision with the desks and stuff. It's not a huge update and he admitted that really mostly the reason for that update is to prepare for the mobile version of Baldi's Basics. So very excited about all that stuff. But in the meantime, let's just enjoy super slow and sad Baldi 7. This music is so different when it's slowed down. It sounds so weird. Ugh, this is messing with my head. Okay, one, I, I gotta hear this. Let's just, just prepare ourselves for the, the, uh, let's see. Okay, it sounds, it sounds pretty much the same. Just maybe a little bit longer. I can't, I can't. Okay, here we go. He's mad or sad. I don't know, I can't really tell anymore. Okay, he's chasing us. Hello? He is actually slow. We're just gonna stare at each other. Wow, that is really, really slow. I have a feeling this is gonna be way easier than the normal version of Baldi's Basics. I wasn't expecting him to actually move like a snail. He is so slow. Okay, so does that mean that everybody in the school is just like super, super slow? Cause that's gonna make my job way easier. Like, stupid easy. But regardless, I'm excited to see everybody's very sad faces. So let's try and find everybody. I, I just, I'm getting detention. The principal is coming for me. He is definitely coming for me. Very, very slowly. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh my gosh, he looks so sad though. He's so sad. <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> I, that's not 15 seconds, dude. That's five seconds. This is this is too easy. You gave me five seconds of detention. You're just too sad to realize that it wasn't 15 seconds. Those tears in your eyes are blurring your vision and your decision making. Oh my gosh, this is weird. Oh, let's go say hi to Bully. Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> He also sounds very strange. I don't really like it. Should we give him a quarter? Maybe it'll cheer him up. You know what? I don't think we need this. Let's give him. Th there you go, buddy. It's mine now. Yeah, it's yours. I hope you feel a little bit happier now that I gave you that candy bar. Looks like it's sweeping time. Guys. It looks like it's sweeping time. So sweeping time is going to be barreling through the hallways at the speed of a slightly faster snail. There he goes. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. <laughs> it's, it's so weird. Oh, I like this mod though. I love it. Where is playtime? Oh, also, if playtime's already sad, how sad can she get if we cut her jump rope? Like, would that be a mega sad playtime? Super sad playtime? Double sad playtime? What does that even mean? I don't know. I haven't heard her, so I don't... I don't know what she's doing, but I guess we'll just grab the notebooks along the way. Like, this is going to be so easy. Even if Baldi speeds up a little bit as we start, you know, collecting these notebooks, it's still going to be easy. He moves so slow. He is in an alternate dimension where time moves slower. It's incredible. I'm going to do this thing. Like, I never do this, but I'm going to do it because why not? I wonder if it'll last longer than it normally does. Like, is that weird sound in slow motion? I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's already a weird sound in the normal game. Now it's just slightly weirder. I have no idea. If I shoot soda. Do oh, playtime. You're so sad. One. Uh -huh. This takes forever. Okay. Yeah, please. 
up that sentence there okay that was weird that was a weird interaction playtime your voice got a little deeper there it's interesting it's very interesting <laughs> i don't know what else to say like that is just so bizarre let's play again sometime soon oh playtime so we didn't make playtime super sad because I wanted to hear that dialogue but the next time we run into playtime oh we are so gonna cut that jump rope and see a doubly sad playtime. Why is everybody so sad in this mod? Like, I get it. You're stuck in some kind of alternate dimension where you have to move in slow motion at all times. But why does that make you so sad? If everybody was moving in slow motion around you, wouldn't it just feel like everybody, everything is normal? I, I don't really know exactly what that means. But like, think about it. If like the Flash had a sidekick who could also move just as fast as him, if they were both moving super fast, wouldn't they just appear to be normal to each other? So why doesn't it work in the reverse order, like in slow motion? I wouldn't say that being able to move at the speed of slow would be a superpower, but if it was, that would probably be my superpower. Hopefully Marvel doesn't steal that idea from me because it's pretty good, you know? <laughs> Captain Slow, man. Yeah, I thought of that name. Right off the top of the dome piece, I know. It's pretty creative. Anyways, we have Really? You're gonna you're gonna catch me? We gonna do this? You're gonna come and get me? You're gonna get me? Are you gonna get me? You got you got try harder than that. Okay, you got me. Good job. Good job there. That's ten seconds though. Maybe you should take Baldi's math class. This is not thirty seconds. Although the time seems to be clicking down slower, so I wonder. I don't feel like that was thirty seconds, but regardless, we've uh, survived detention, and now we only have one more notebook. I haven't even. I haven't even seen Baldi. Oh, there he is. Hey, playtime. Playtime. I hear playtime. I want to cut the jump rope. There you are. Hey, hey, I'm gonna do this, okay? Goodbye. That's a very sad playtime. That's a very, very sad playtime. She is very, very slowly walking away. No! Okay, what? That was way too fast. That was. No. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to speed this up here. I'm pretty sure that Baldi's right around the corner. Okay, this is getting this is not not looking good. Come come on, play playtime. Oh hey there. Oh good. Okay, you know what? Even the soda is sad. That sad soda. Sad soda. Sad Baldi. Sad the the whole crew. The whole sad crew is all here. Yeah, this is weird. This is really weird. Uh, where's the robot? First prize. I haven't. There he is. Oh. Oh, you're already sad. You always want hugs and whatnot. I won't marry you. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not going to work out. Why are you so sad? <laughs> just very slowly pushing me down the hallway. Can we, uh, can we work this out here first prize? Can I, uh, can I go now? I can leave now? Okay, I appreciate it. I'm going to... I'm gonna go this way, actually. Uh, you lost me. Yeah, yeah, I know, you don't like that. I'm gonna grab the last notebook. I might get caught by the principal, because he was around here. Or Playtime. Playtime's actually nearby. She must be very close. Yep, there she is. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm gonna grab the scissors, and Playtime is gonna come in here, and then we're gonna make her super sad. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sprite for the super sad playtime. That is very good. She is doubly sad. That If that was a doubly sad playtime, that's what it would look like. Oh gosh, here we go. I, I didn't even realize we got all seven. Oh, that is really, really upsetting. That is awful. Okay. Well, I guess we'll get all the exits. Um, we do want to keep an eye out for arts and crafters because he is going to be around here. Also, I don't hear the weird sound that it that it used to make. Is it making the sound but just like super slow? Oh no. Oh no, this is really bad. This is actually very bad. I'm getting pinched. Wait, what am I going to do? I, I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, uh, oh. 
Okay, can I can I leave? No, I can't leave. Baldy, are you over here, Baldy? Nope, Baldy's not over here. Okay, I don't really know what to do, honestly. If if playtime catches me, sh she's gonna keep me prisoner forever. Uh oh. Does that stop the? Yes, it stops the puppet. Oh my gosh, Basoda! It's the ultimate weapon. Also, that noise is really, really bad. Can we stop that noise? Can that go away now? Like seriously? That needs to. That needs to go away. Oh, there's the that. That's the weird noise. Now it just sounds like someone is playing a bass in my ear holes. Please, please, no, no. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't want to go in this direction. Oh my gosh, this is. Ah, get me out of here. I guess we're going to the end of the hallway because there's nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. And okay, now we're at the beginning. Th this is this is breaking my brain right now. But on the bright side, Baldi is still really, really slow. This noise is it's unpleasant. So that was a terrible situation. And that was kind of created because of the slow motion. The slow motion actually got me that time. But like I said, Baldi's still super slow, so it's like there's very little risk. There's still some risk, but honestly, playing in slow motion makes the game a lot easier. Also makes it a lot funnier, you know, because everybody's voices sound weird. You know how if you uh, if you suck in helium out of like a balloon, it'll make your voice like high pitched? There's another gas that you can you can suck down and it'll make your voice like super deep. I don't know what it is, but it's weird. So it's like all these guys have have done that. And there you go. Congratulations. We won. Super slow motion mode. Oh, the guy's he's talking. He's doing his old speech and then he crashed the game. Thank you. This is a very, very strange mod, but it's one of the very few mods that I was actually able to beat. It's kind of easy mode, funny easy mode, but also sad at the same time because everybody's just so sad. Was there anybody that we missed out on? I think we saw everybody, right? We definitely saw Playtime, made her super sad. Definitely saw the principal. We saw Bully, we gave him a candy bar, it didn't make him feel any better. Was really hoping it would just cheer him up just for a little bit, didn't. Obviously we saw Baldy, so sad. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that, Baldy. He also noticed that he has two sets of eyebrows. He has sad eyebrows and normal eyebrows because that's the way Baldy rolls. We even saw arts and crafters who a lot of the times we don't get to see that well. We got to spend a lot of time just staring at him because we were stuck in that hallway between first prize and sock puppet guy. So since this was so easy, I think actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the special ending where you get all of the answers wrong. Normally, this is like insanely hard, but I'm hoping that by doing this on this mode, it won't be that hard. So let me see if I can make this happen. So in case you guys don't know, if you get all of the answers wrong in the game, it'll give you a special ending, which I've done once before, but I cheated to get to that ending. And technically in this mode, I'm kind of cheating again because everything is super slow, which makes it like stupid easy. But we're gonna get this done and we'll get the, the special ending, but in slow motion, hopefully. We'll see. Okay, so I've collected all seven notebooks. Now I just need to get out of the school. Unfortunately, the principal, he's chasing me. He's been chasing me for a while now and uh, he wants to put me in detention. So I'm avoiding that at all costs and also getting to enjoy the, the beautiful sounds of of Baldi screaming at me. I'm gonna do this little move right there. Boom. All right, you guys enjoy your time with very sad soda. I love how the soda is sad. That's hilarious. It's a very nice touch. We're almost there. The final exit. Let's do this. I might have to turn up my volume because I turned it way down because of this noise. Let's go. You won. There's room for improvement though. Go see Baldi in his office for some tips. Okay, here we go. Baldi's office. We made it. Ah, oh gosh. Does he talk to me? Is he gonna say anything? I think that. Oh, you found me. Good job. I'm glad you found me. Look, I have something. He's he's not slow motion. Did you have to? Did really? You had to do that? Stop. Stop. Are you done? 
This is probably looking pretty ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I have no idea what he's talking about, what he's saying. But it's not slow motion. What? Don't pay attention to myself. What? Destroy the game. Destroy the game. He's just gonna keep talking, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's not. He said he's not someone trapped inside the game. That would be ridiculous. And then makes lots of weird noises. Can I? Can I? Uh, okay, it gets louder when you when you when you get closer to him. Okay, I don't know what to do now. I I thought that the game resets when you get to this point. It doesn't. It doesn't, and he's not slow motion, so that's very disappointing. Please make the noises stop. Get me out of here. I want out. No, stop. Stop. He just keeps going on and on and on and on. And he somehow escaped the time warp that is slow motion Baldi world. So good for him. But guys, that's going to do it for this very interesting mod. Welcome to Baldi's Basics, but the school is closed forever. As you guys probably know, I killed Baldi. I killed him dead. I didn't mean to. I was forced. I was forced into it. I had no choice. What are you supposed to do when your math teacher forces you to answer a question that is impossible to answer and will die if you answer it incorrectly? I, my hands were tied. I guess I could have just said I don't want to answer the question. But regardless, Baldi is gone. And so school is closed forever. This is a mod called Baldi's Dead. <laughs> That's it. And uh, I don't think we can go inside of the school because it's closed. As you can see before your eyes. Also, the ground is freaking out. What is happening to the grass? It's overgrown. It's become sentient and alive. And I think it might try to kill us. We no longer have to fear Baldi. Now we must fear the grass. So we can't actually go into the school. But if I turn around here, we can see there's a bit of a procession going on. <laughs> Rest in peace, you, you beautiful bald math teacher. Everybody is so sad. So for the record, this is a mod by SonicFan2016. And as you can see, we're, we're, we're having a bit of a, a moment here. Just remembering our, our favorite math teacher. Look at that face. He was so young. He was so vibrant. He brought so much ruler to the world. So many rulers. Just, just so many rulers. How are we supposed to define if something is actually 12 inches or a foot long without this, this glorious math teacher? How? I don't know. So I think this is all there is to this mod, which is... Kind of depressing. Bully doesn't seem to be phased at all by this situation, but first prize, he's a very emotional robot. He's, he, I mean, look at his heart. He's got a giant heart. Of course he's gonna be upset. Now, before you guys get too emotional, I, I wanna remind you that Baldi is, is not very nice to us. <laughs> now, if I had the choice to, to save him or not save him, obviously I would've, I would've tried to save him. I, I just, I couldn't answer the question correctly. Look at principal. What are you supposed to do? The school can't function without Baldi. It just, no Baldi, no school. Playtime, I mean, I don't know if she's more upset that her, that her jump rope is broken or that Baldi isn't here anymore. Either way, she's upset. Can we explore? Can, you think we can, oh, maybe we can sneak in here? You think we can? I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so we are inside of the closed school. And as you guys can see, Reverof Dezulk. Of course, closed forever. I appreciate that uh, they put closed signs in areas that I technically wasn't supposed to get to. Is there anything else? 
in the school? I mean, you don't think that they could find a replacement math teacher? Maybe a replacement math teacher with slightly less of a temper. I mean, I'm not here to judge a dude who's not here anymore, but I mean, he was kind of a jerk. He, he had a ruler and, and he was not afraid to use it. Can we find a teacher, a math teacher that, that maybe doesn't get so upset when you answer questions incorrectly and also you need to collect two notebooks before you can use these doors. Baldy? Where did that voice come from? <laughs> but I might also note that uh Baldy gives you questions that are impossible to answer. Literally impossible math questions. It's not cool, Baldy. Now again, Baldy's not here anymore. So I should stop bashing him. It's not cool. To, to bash a dude who, who can't really bash back, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think there's anything else to see here. The school is closed, Baldi's gone, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I did that to him. It was an accident. Sort of. But not really. He forced my hand. Someone left a quarter in the closed down school. I'm gonna go pick it up, buy myself a soda. Can I leave? No, I can't leave. So. Now that I'm in the school, I'm, I guess I'm stuck here forever. Hey, I got a quarter. Sweet. So with Baldy gone, what actually happens to the closed down school? Well, we might have the answer via another unrelated mod. Let's go to it. Baldy's back. Yay. I think. Are we happy about this? Maybe not. But prepare yourselves for an interesting take on on kind of what we've been dealing with here. Seven plus one is eight. Two plus seven is nine. Seven plus six is 13. He's done it. I exist. Thank you, Baldy. You don't. All right, we're gonna make Baldy mad, but something weird is gonna happen after this. Yeah, there's a Baldy tombstone chasing us. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Everybody's a tombstone in this mod. Who is that? Is that Principal? Was that? I don't, I don't actually know. So this is a mod called Baldi's Rip mod. And you can see why it's called that. It's by Baldi TM. It looks like everybody has become a tombstone in Baldi's school. So they're not actually dead. They've just transformed into stone. That makes me feel a little bit better about the whole situation. Actually, first prize, um, can we, Wait, are you, are you turning around? He is, he's always oh, coming for us, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is so weird, oh my goodness. It's so hard to tell who's who, cause they're all just stones. I mean, that's principle. So, okay, clearly that is principle. Playtime is gonna be an interesting one to run into. Playtime the tombstone. Everybody's favorite jump rope and rock. I don't expect to actually beat this, I feel like it's gonna be way harder. Cause again, like you can't really tell who's who. They all look very, very similar. The only real distinction is like the height of the tombstone and then also the color of the text. But when you're really far away, it's hard to tell. What is that? Wait, I think that said art. Is that arts and crafters? He's actually not made of rock. He's a puppet tombstone. True fact. All right, Baldy tombstone is getting really close. And, uh, I don't like it. Is Baldy Tombstone coming? Oh yeah, there he is. Poking his stone face around the corner. Such a sneaky tombstone, isn't he? Oh, I have to see the broom. Gotta sweep. Where are you, my, my friend? <laughs> Rip. Gotta. That was his nickname. That's what we all called him. Back at the school. Good old Gotta. Always cleaning those floors. Like Making those floors so, so clean. His bristles will be missed. I think first prize is gonna push me. Oh gosh. Got, got a sweep. Got, who was that? Oh, Baldy! You're right behind me. How did you get here? I thought I was way ahead of him. Oh no! Playtime! Okay, go away. I just made a tombstone sad. I just made a rock cry. Oh, there's Bully. Pretty much doing the same thing he would do if he wasn't a tombstone. He's just standing there. I'm quite concerned that Baldy knows where I am. 
Is he getting closer? I think we lost Baldy. I mean, he is a rock. So I should probably, you know, not not go around bragging about it, but I escaped Baldy. Rock Baldy. Tombstone Baldy. I'm concerned that if I go through this door though, it's gonna be like over. Like he's gonna just snap into action and come for me. Wait. Wait. Is he did he wrap around? I have no idea where he is. He's a sneaky tombstone. Okay, I think our time has come to make our move. I'm not gonna go through that door. I'm just gonna go around. Have I gone in here? Yes, I have. Okay, so Baldi's gonna hear us open that door, but that's okay, because that might throw him off the scent, unless... Oh, he's coming this way. Okay, never mind. Hello, Art. That was also his nickname. That was that, that, that wonderful... Oh, no! Where are you taking me? Where are we going? Oh, gosh. You took me back to Baldi. But I don't know where Baldi is now. So, you know what? Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe that was a good thing. No! First prize! Place! Place! Who's that? Is that Baldi? No, that's playtime. You know what? I'm okay. I'll, I'll play with a tombstone. We jump roping with rocks. Oh no! No! Stop doing that to me. Play time. First prize, all of you. Everybody, just stop. Just please stop. Please. Please. He's not listening. First prize is not listening. Okay, this is bad. Can you push me? Can you push me, please? Please? Thank you. Thank you very much. You know what? Take me all the way to the end of this hallway. Take me first prize. Uber. This is first prize Uber. All right. Can you stop now, please? Okay, you, you passed my destination. I, I, I just I want to go here. I just want to grab this notebook really fast. I got to say, I'm doing remarkably well for being chased by a bunch of rocks. I see you. Please don't. Oh, gosh. I have lost you. Whew. I, I escaped first that. prize. Okay, I have a plan. This may or may not work. I gotta shoot him with the soda. Okay, get out of here. Thank you. And then we grab this notebook, and then we only have one more after this. Just one more. I'm also going to grab scissors, because I need them to protect me. Thank you. No, go away. Just leave me alone. Hello, principal. Please don't arrest me. I think we're in pretty good shape. Now, I'm not saying we're going to win, but I do feel like we're probably going to get the last notebook. Oh, did he see me? Did he see me running? Oh, he didn't see me running. Holy moly. That was very close. I thought that he saw me running. Whew, the last notebook. Let's do this. Now, a tombstone is about to yell at us. Just for the record. Good. Just, just try not to get too upset. You found all seven notebooks. Now all you need to do is get out while you still can. <laughs> it's amazing technology of tombstones nowadays. Okay, I'm gonna try a similar technique here. I'm just gonna wait for him to get kind of close to me, and I'm gonna launch him all the way down the hallway. Come at me, bro. Blast him. All right, he's gone. Nope. Bro, that makes me sad. Yeah, well, guess what makes me sad? Headless gummy bears. What? I'm grabbing this candy bar. I can't reach it. It's too far. Okay, never mind. I didn't want it anyways. No! We're done. We're roasted. No! No! Oh my gosh, what is happening? What? First prize, my hero! I mean, I did just get detention, but first prize saved us. He's the hero we've all been waiting for. Okay, please, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. No! Oh! Okay. The tombstone got me. And so, we end our journey where it all began. Looking at an upside down picture of Baldi. You will be missed, Baldi, but something tells me you're not actually gone. So rest assured, friends, Baldi will return. Dun 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 dun.